Hi, my name is uh, Stuart Phillips. I'm a professor in the Department of Kinesiology at McMaster University. I'm a director of the Physical Activity Center for Excellence, and my research is in the interaction between high quality protein and physical activity for people in their 40s and 50s. Around age 50, people need to begin to pay more attention to the amount of protein that's in their diet and that they're getting it at every meal. And as we age, it's particularly important because we actually begin to lose a little bit of protein, mostly from our muscle. The prevention of loss of muscle mass as we age is, is critical for a number of reasons. As you lose muscle, you get a little bit weaker and it becomes harder to do things. Prevention of that loss comes through two things. The first of which is the consumption of a greater than recommended amount of dietary protein frequently throughout the day and the combination of that with being physically active. But the decline in muscle mass begins for most people probably in their 40s and 50s. The target per meal in terms of protein would probably be in the range of 25 to 30 grams per meal. Most people hit that at their dinnertime meal. They're a little bit lower at the lunchtime meal, but they're definitely very low at the breakfast meal. So it's about uh, emphasizing a balanced proportion of protein, 25 to 30 grams at each meal. So high quality proteins are sources of protein in your diet that contain all of the essential amino acids to make the proteins within our bodies. They also contain a lot of other nutrients, so that might be things like calcium and iron and lots of other vitamins and minerals. Sources of high quality protein might vary from things that we traditionally recognize like milk and dairy, uh, eggs and lots of lean meats, but they could also include things like beans and legumes, peas and that sort of thing. So it's all part of a healthy balanced diet, but the high quality proteins really come from I think the most traditional sources that I've just talked about. It's a good thing for people to think about the quality of proteins that they're consuming at each meal.